Hello people. Again, we've been learning about how the surface of the earth is changed uh, either by weathering or erosion. Of course, weathering is change um, and erosion is moving with the particles. Uh, these are some pictures you may have seen before. Some of you might be able to identify this. Uh, these are actually pictures from the Lewis and Clark Caverns in Montana. I imagine some of you have been there. It's kind of neat. So what we want to look at is how do caves form since we have caves in Montana. Uh, they're formed through a process uh, that uh, is rather specific to the formation of caves. But anyway, rainwater is going to react with carbon dioxide um, in the rocks, or in the air in that case, and it's going to form an acid. It's called carbonic acid. It makes sense because carbon dioxide has carbon in it, and that combines and forms carbonic acid. And what that acid is going to do then um, is that it's going to come in contact with the rocks, like limestone, it's going to eat them away, do some dissolving of them, and it's going to take that dissolved material and deposit it elsewhere, creating all these crazy cave, cave formations. But it slowly opens up um, areas within the rocks, forming the caves. Specifically, the rocks that it reacts with is limestone. And we looked at limestone when we took a look at rocks um, a long time ago in this class as well. Um, so the question is, is what we're looking at weathering or erosion? Well, it is changing the rock, so it's got to be weathering, right? The question then is, is what of the two types of weathering is it? Is it chemical or is it uh, mechanical weathering uh, that's occurring? And if you uh, said chemical because we have uh, an alteration through this process without a physical process, right? Um, then, it, then you are correct. So uh, caves are formed by chemical weathering. Again, if you need to pause the video to write this information down, please do that. What I want to talk about real quick is some of the cave features. You're also going to look at a lot of those in the assignment that you do, but here we go. Okay, so uh, our fancy science term for a cave feature is what's called a speleothem. Um, and this is that water that is moving through the caves. It's dissolving calcite out of the limestone and then depositing it elsewhere. It's creating all these different cave features. So there is a stalagmite, um, and a stalagmite is on the floor of a cave. It's reaching up towards the surface. It might reach the surface. Um, a stalactite. Um, is from the ceiling of the cave moving down towards the floor. Um, it has to hold on tight to the ceiling. That's how you can maybe remember those two apart. A column is when a stalagmite and a stalactite grow together. So you have a continuous feature from uh, the floor up to the ceiling. Um, flowstone is this stuff. It can someti it's sometimes called draperies. Um, but it, it's all this weird, uh, unique, undulating features that are created as water flows over the surface um, inside the cave and leaves these deposits behind. Um, the last feature I'm going to talk about is called a soda straw. You can see one right here. It's shaped exactly like it sounds, hollow on the inside, straight on the outside. Um, all this calcite rich material is flowing over the top of it um, and through it, and eventually the bottom closes off, and this is like a precursor to a stalactite. Now you're going to do an assignment today. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You're going to watch a couple of short videos um, on YouTube. They're linked on, on the assignment um, on the Google Classroom. Um, you want to type your answers right into that assignment, um, and then there's a website you're going to go to, and you'll just answer some questions. Um, all of this stuff that we covered, you might have to reference your notes. That might help you out a little, too. All right? Have fun. Good luck.